And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Nipponosaurus, which this is another dinosaur that appears in the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World series. And we are continuing this until Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom comes out. So Nipponosaurus appears in the Holoscape interface in the Innovation Center in Jurassic World. And it probably lived in the Gallimimus Valley. It was a, in real life, it was a Lambiosaurian hadrosaur that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now the southern part of Singorsk, Sakhaland Island. Hopefully I pronounced that right. That's in Russia. And that was actually part of Japan, specifically Karafutu Prefecture, when the dinosaur was named, but then that land was annexed to the Soviet Union in 1945. The name means Japanese lizard, and you might guess why. It was named in 1936 by Professor Takumo Nagao from the Imperial University of Hokkaido, and the name refers to Nippon, which is the Japanese name for Japan. It was the first dinosaur named based on a specimen found on Japanese territory, and it was discovered in November 1934 during construction of a hospital. They found a juvenile specimen that was about 60% complete. It included dentary, skull elements, vertebrae, and parts of the forelimbs and hindlimbs. It's hard to figure out when exactly it lived, but based on mollusks that were found nearby, it probably lived around 80 million years ago. The type species is Nipponosaurus sakaliensis, and that species name refers to Sakhalin. So it's Japan and Japanese island dinosaur. Yes, except now that island is part of Russia. It's not even safe to name the dinosaur after the place you found it, because the place can apparently change ownership. Can't name it after what you think it looked like, how you think it acted, or where it is, because it can all change. (laughs) Yes. So when Nipponosaurus was discovered, they didn't find much of the skull or limbs initially, so they actually had to do a second expedition in 1937, and that's where they found more limb material for the holotype. And then Nagao described this material in 1938. There was a humerus found in a pit near Hashima Island in Japan that was referred to Nipponosaurus in 1967, but it hasn't since been studied. At first, the Nipponosaurus found was thought to be an adult because it had coossified sacral vertebra. But then later on, scientists doubted this because the specimen was so small. And then some scientists think that it doesn't have any diagnostic characteristics, anything unique about it, and therefore that makes it a nomum dubium. And a review of Japanese dinosaurs in 1994 suggested that many Asian hadrosaurs were incomplete and may actually have been the same species. But Nipponosaurus was redescribed in 2004 and found to be a juvenile and a valid taxon. And the redescription said that there were three diagnostic characteristics, although some scientists refuted it, saying that those characters were found in other hadrosaurids. Then it was re-examined again in 2017, and that confirmed that, yes, it was a juvenile, and they found an additional three diagnostic characteristics, or new ones, I guess. And they found a wide structure on the lower jaw, small neural spines, and short legs. And so in 2017, Ryuji Takasaki dissected three bones, the femur, rib, and chevron, and found only two lines of arrested growth, which is what showed it to be a juvenile. Nipponosaurus was about 13 feet or 4 meters long, and it had a hollow head crest, though remains that were found were incomplete, so it's hard to know details. The reconstructions are usually made based on comparisons to similar dinosaurs. Because the specimen found was a juvenile, it's possible the head crest changed as it matured. It was Probably buried in a marine setting, not far from shore, based on terrestrial plant fossils found nearby. And because of this, Nipponosaurus may have lived on low-lying plains near the coast. We'll have to see what kind of a role, if any, it might play in Jurassic World. Sounds like it might be small. (laughs) Yeah, or non-existent. (laughs) But maybe if this island that they're on... Oh no, because they're on the island in the Caribbean, right? Because it's supposed to be Isla Sorna or Nublar, the original island. 